now your job is to create a page of visual force in which we are able to see five fields right uh, not five fields let's say uh, four fields of uh, of a student object right that's what you have to do or four, let's say six fields of student object so this this is how your page should look like see this very clearly Okay, let's say five fields in which the last one should be a uh, what a text field, right? Uh, a text area field, so a rich text area or a text area. Whatever dis description is the text area that we have got on student object. So this should be that, and it should not take only one column. It should take the like uh, yeah, it should take uh, two columns for uh, the like yeah. There are two columns. So it should take take both the columns. That that uh, that's what it should do. So create this. Start working. With this. Create this. Create a visual force page for this. All of the guys on the chat as well. Create it right now. So the guy, you got the answer of the metadata repository. Okay. So you have to create a visual for, visual force page in which uh, these are the fields. That are coming up for student from student object, and this is a description field uh, which is there on student object, which is of data type, uh, text area, and it should take the whole uh, length of the page rather than just uh, using the single column. So there are two columns, right? Guys, see over here. So this is one single column, and this is another column. This is one single column, and this is another column. So over here in a single column, where there are, there are two things coming up: label as well as field, label as well as field, label as well as field, <coughs> or label as well as value. But over here, it should be like uh, a complete column should be taken for the label, and complete column should be taken for the description. That's what I want. I will be about the guess. So a uh, student. Now let's create a program. Create a new Visual Force page, right? Named as Student View Page. Stand controller. Uh, inside the stand controller, what we're going to write down? Student underscore underscore C. So guys, first have a look. Uh, if I'm going to go and preview this, I'm getting the sidebar. And if you're gonna have a look at this one, there's no sidebar. So first thing that you need to do over here is sidebar equals to false, right? If you're not gonna do that, it's uh, not worthy of doing. It's not correct any which way. So first, make sure that the first statement is right, right? And then uh, apex page. Some people have uh, not written down apex page block. Let me tell you, without page block, you cannot do anything. Page blocks. Uh, Section right and apex output field right. What should be the label? Label label around value. Student and this one is for C dot name, right? That's what I have to write down. Over there, I'll write down student and this one name and this one is for C. Right? And then uh, what do I have to write down? Initial. Was it registration fees or initial fees? Registration? Let's see what it is. Yes.
Let's have a look at this. Where are you going to the set? Administration fees it is and student email. And that's what I've written now. Let me create another field which is text area, which is already not created over here. Description text area. Description name. Next. Next. Yes. Let me create a student record first. Plus student name. Student name is Amit. Decision faces piece of this. Student email is Amit at mrbad.com. Description is same. I've saved the record that I want to see. Anyways, uh, let's go back to the and over here, what do, I, what do I need to do? I need to create a page block section. And in that page block section, I need to write down columns. Oh, sorry. Columns is equals to one. So it will have one column, and inside one column, there will be only two fields that will be presented. I'm going to copy this apex output field. Just wait for a while before writing it down. So now you see, and then what it is uh, description. Preview this page. Coming up like this. Now uh, let's give give it some title. Uh, big fields. Title. Small fields. Title. Student view page. Like this, now uh, I've created a record that Amit one happy go lucky. I'm just going to copy this record ID, and now how, sh how should I pass it? Question mark ID is equals to that ID, right? That's what I have to write down. But over here already there is a there's an argument that is being passed. Core apex basis dot request dot dev console equals to one. That means this the request to opening this particular page is coming from developer console. If I want to pass another attribute, I can simply use and operator ID equals to this outcome. It's coming out. I think uh, it's not showing the way we expected it to. Let me make it as two. Still not showing up like that. Very well. Let me add another field as well. Sorry.
characters I mean, it's perfect according to uh, what we wanted, but yeah, that's how it's done. Is it clear? So this is how you can create your own uh, new page for the custom objects. And again, some people have done the mistake of using custom controllers, writing down custom control. Guys, you do not have to write down custom controller for custom objects. Custom controller is basically an Apex class that you create for a custom functionality irrespective of what the object is or irrespective of whether it is a standard object or whether it is a custom object, right? Is in small field section, does it by default create two columns? Yes. By default, there are two columns. And by the way, if in the above section, if I'll use the columns equals to four, then all, then all the columns and its values are going to come into a single column. Let's have a look like this. Can you see uh, Amit or Abhishek? Abhishek, Abhishek can you see this? This is how it's going to come. Sorry? In that case, it will be by default two columns and it will be added on the left hand side. By default, it's two columns. Right? So if we cannot, can we do this columns four in uh, page layouts? Can we? In page layout, yeah, we can either have a two column uh, section or one column section. We cannot have the other ones, right? So that's what it is. That's the benefit of creating your own page, uh, Visual Force page, uh, where you can do whatever you want, like right? literally whatever you want. So this is how it's coming up. And if I can, I can set it as collapsible. If it's true, then that means I can just collapse it like this. And if I'll make it as false. Let it get saved. No, wh what's there for no? Can you tell me? I'll refresh this. So I've set it for big fields, by the way, I guess. So, no. Cannot have full okay, okay. You answered this. See the collapsible uh, like arrow is gone. I can set the same for the small fields as well. Let me set it like that. One for this one, that's how it goes. Clear everyone? Write down if you if you haven't yet. By the way, you can like some people have written down Apex output field just like that. You cannot use that without Apex page block. You have to write down page block. So over here, this is the complete page block. If you can see, like this. Let me annotate it. This is the complete. This is the complete page block, right? This is the page block section, and these are the Apex output fields. 